Hi everyone. I'm sorry to do this bare face, 46 year old face to you, but I have a few products that I wanted to demonstrate for you today. That one is brand spanking new at uh, Walgreens, and the other one, um, I, it's, I don't think that it's new, but it's new to me. I've never seen it before, um, so I thought that I would... Now that uh, I'm, I'm at a point right now where I don't have my rash going on to distract you from the look of these products, and so I thought that I would go ahead and throw up a, a demonstration of how they work. Now, the Nano Blur is a brand new product. Um, it is from Indeed uh, Corporation, I guess, you know, from Indeed brand. And it's brand spanking new. I just picked it up at Walgreens yesterday. And what this is is very similar to, from what I can tell anyways, it's very similar to the uh, L'Oreal Miracle Blur. Now, I, I talked about this before. I didn't do a demonstration, but I talked about it, and I really did not like this product. Um, I liked what it did, but the, the, the feeling and tackiness that it left on your face afterwards was just unacceptable. And it never really set or dried down or, or something, you know. It's like it never really flashed off. Well, this stuff is entirely different. Um, it, it, it is basically the same product as this, not quite as thick and sticky. Um, it's more like a lotion, but it dries down to a beautiful, or, you know, it sets up to a beautiful finish, nice and smooth like you've used a primer, and it's, it's really a gorgeous product. Now, this cost uh, $19.95 at Walgreens, and it's on sale right now. Uh, it's it's on sale right now and I don't know what it is. I don't I didn't even look what it was normally without it being on sale, but uh it's got the you know, it's on the basically their breakout. And then they've got another one that's in a blue box and it's for like long term wrinkle refinement and primer and all that, but I I tested them both. There was little tester bottles of both of them at my Walgreens. And I tested them both and they both seemed identical to me. So I just got they were both the same price, and I just got this one. So this is what little jar that it comes in. There's a little tube that it comes in. Um, you get quite a bit here. Uh, you know, it's a fluid ounce. I don't know. I guess some wouldn't call that a quite a bit, but yeah, it's a fluid ounce for 20 bucks. Um, I think it's a pretty big tube, considering you know that's the size of the professional, and that's 30 bucks. So I don't know. You can't. If it works, right, who cares as far as I'm concerned. So I'm going to go ahead. Now, I hope that you can see. I'm, I'm looking in the mirror behind you. I'm going to pull the camera up to me a little bit. And I hope that you can see on my face. I'm going to actually put it on half side of my face, okay? And I will show you um, what it looks like. It looks just like a, a lotion, you know, like a little bit of a thicker lotion. I'm sure I got way too much, but I wanted to do a significant area so that you could see it, you know. So let's just go ahead and put it on. I'm going to lean to the side a little bit here so I can see in my mirror. And I'm going to go um, under my eye. Now, on the package, it says that you're supposed to originally, to begin putting this on, either under makeup or right on top of it. You know, after you apply your makeup. Now, my some of my worst lines are obviously on my forehead and right here in between my eyes from years of squinting or years of holding up my eyebrows, my eyelids, so that they weren't so hooded. And then I really hate this little pouch I have right here. One of those things I'm thinking about getting done with Botox. <laughs> Seriously, I have no problem with fillers and stuff. Okay, there we go. Got it on half side of my face. Let's let it set up a little bit. And I hope that you're able to see what I'm going to show you because I was really impressed with this product. Um, you know, like I said, this one here leaves a, a bizarre tackiness to your face. There's no way you could ever put makeup on top of it. I mean, it, it's just disgusting. I really did not like that product. And I'm really glad that I didn't buy the full big size $25 one. Um, yeah, really glad that I didn't buy that. But this is 20 It's still not cheap, you know, but if it works, the way I look at it now, this stuff feels and kind of acts 
it, it kind of feels like the uh, Peter Thomas Roth Firmex when it's when it, when it's starting to dry down and flash off a little bit. It kind of feels like that, but not quite as you know. I don't know if any of you that have ever tried that um, the Peter Thomas Roth when it when it starts going to work, you can feel your skin all pulling together and tightening up, which we'll get to that effect on this other product I got to show you. <laughs> But, yeah, that's what it feels like. It feels, it, you don't get that tightening feeling from it, but you feel that um, tingly, weird sensation. It's kind of, it's kind of strange, and at the same time, I, I kind of like it. Now, I don't know if you can see this in my camera well enough, but in my mirror, I can really see it. But it dr almost dries down to a complete, uh, um... What what is the word? It's just real smooth. Like if you were to use, uh, let's say, the professional all over your face, that's what it feels like after it dries down and and it sets. So uh, a beautiful, beautiful canvas to put makeup on. It dries down that nicely. Um, whereas the L'Oreal does not do that. Okay, it's pretty much done. I'm gonna try to get up here somewhat close and see. Hopefully, you guys can see. What I'm going to show you, can you see the difference between, oh, obviously I don't need to tell you all that, you know, I've got very, very, very blotchy skin from the lupus. Oh, but can you see, can you see the difference between the lines on my forehead and the lines over here? You know, well, obviously when I'm relaxing, can you see that difference? And then, of course, if it was a little bit longer beyond, uh, or a little bit further beyond 30 minutes after I just woke up, because I wanted to do this with the clean face, and I was getting ready to jump in the shower and put my face on, so, but uh, I still have the bags from waking up, and they usually go away, you know, when you're in the shower. You know how that goes, your morning face. And I've pretty much got that right now, which is a perfect example to try this product on, right? But as you, I hope that you can see in my camera how much this has refined or blurred rather this side of my face um, now I'm gonna let it let it lay naturally without doing my normal lifties and stuff and you can see that this is not nearly as bad as this side at least it doesn't look like it in the in the mirror behind me or behind you rather and my forehead you can very very much see that look at that that's awesome isn't it I am really, really happy with this product. And again, it leaves, I mean, it completely fills your pores. It, it just gives you a clean canvas and it blurs your fine lines. Now, any of you ladies out there that obviously that don't have the extreme skin conditions that I have, you are going to love this. Um, Angie, you know, I don't know if, if you would want to try something like this, but this would make your face look 20 years old again because you've already got a beautiful you know a beautiful complexion and and so when I find something like this that that I can see a visible difference on my skin with this compromise it is is I'm pretty excited about it so yeah I'm I'm really liking it you, like I said you can clearly see the difference between this side and this side um, it mattifies obviously it completely mattifies and smooths everything out I'm kind of excited about it I really am Okay, now with that said, that is the Nano Blur. So if any of you want to give this product a try, head down to your Walgreens. They're carrying it right now on special. Um, it's their, you know, their grand, um, grand release special going on right now. So if you want to give this a try, you might want to run down and get it before the price goes back up to the normal price, which I, I think it's around the same cost of the L'Oreal uh, Miracle Blur which is like $25, but this is $20, you get one ounce of product, it's from the Indeed, Indeed brand, which I've never heard of it personally, but that's what it's from, and again, it's called the Nano Blur, and it works, it works, it looks beautiful, um, and I can't wait to put makeup on over it to see how it looks with the application of makeup on. Okay, the next product I have is called Sudden Change, under eye firming solution. Now, I had never seen this down at Walgreens, but I'm kind of set in my ways with my skincare products, and so I don't really, 
I don't really look around for new ones. You know, I know what I like and I know what works, and I use my Olay Re Regenerist and my Strivectins and. You know, but I, I don't really look around for this kind of stuff. Now, I tried the Peter Thomas Roth. Um, this comes in a little itty-bitty bottle. <laughs> 0.23 fluid ounces. But right now at CVS, this is on sale for $10, and it's normally like $22. So, and then it's got a, a $1.50 off coupon inside of it if you, you know, if you feel like you like it and want to go back for more. Now... For the sake of making this video timely, I'm going to grab a wet wipe and I'm just going to wipe over my one eye area so that I can put it on both eyes and you can see. Now, if you guys have ever seen or tried the Peter Thomas Raw Firmex, I actually made a full demonstration video of that. It was the very first video I ever made. That was what I was going to do as my breakout video, you know. But uh, it was like 50 minutes long. And, you know, obviously that won't fly. And so I've never put it up because I've never mastered an editing program enough to chop it up to where it was in a, you know, a relatively decent amount of time so I've never put it up but that stuff works fantastic but it leaves this white film on your face that once you pat that white film off with a wet rag like the directions say the effects go away so it's just absolutely worthless at least I thought so now this stuff works exactly the same way it feels the same when it's drying down um, it's a thin thin liquid now, what I like about this, as opposed to the Peter Thomas Roth, is the Peter Thomas Roth is in a cream, is in a kind of a heavy cream, and it's quite difficult. Matter of fact, I've got, I've got a little tub of it here. This is the Peter Thomas Roth, and it's like, um, I squoze this out of the tube because my dog got in the hole of the tube. But it's kind of like a, it's a cream, and it goes on like a cream, obviously, and it feels kind of gritty and weird, but this isn't a review about Peter Thomas Roth. Um, <coughs> but what I'm, what is exciting about this is that on the directions it says to put two drops into, uh, you know, maybe on your palette or in the palm of your hand, and then mix a couple drops of your foundation in with it, or your under eye concealer, and then pat it, you know, wherever you want to to have the line refinement. Well, I did that, and then I did it without foundation, and I'm going to show you it with and without foundation, or under eye concealer, rather. I'm sorry, I should have been a little bit more prepared here. So I'm going to take just a little bit of my Bye Bye Under Eye, okay? Now I'm just going to use my little wand one here so I can put a very small amount in the palm of my hand. and. I'm going to put a tiny bit of that in my hand, as you can see right there, and then I'm going to use two drops of the product, one, two, and then uh, kind of, you know, blend it all together a little bit on your hand. You don't want to sit there and go crazy on blending it though because it's going to set up and do its job in the palm of your hand and you're going to basically waste those two drops. So I'm going to show you how this stuff works, which it does work, but if you use it without um, the foundation or the uh, under eye cream, you know, if you use it by itself, and then you have to sit perfectly still and not have any kind of expression on that area that you put it. Otherwise, it's going to, um, what, freeze like that, I suppose, for lack of a better word. And then I'm going to put two drops without any foundation on this side okay so that you can see both places and I'm also and because this is um because this is a pretty neat product and I've got I've got some serious lines on my upper lip Man, if I could take back anything, I would take back smoking. I tell you, any of you gals out there that smoke, any of you younger girls out there that are indulging in the old stogie, 
stop while you can. Not just for your skin, for your lungs, obviously, for your insides, but it just destroys your skin. It really does. If I could, you know, when I look in the mirror and I think of all the things I'd like to have done to my face, I just keep coming back to, I wish I would have never smoked. Because I've got those smoker lines that are just so unattractive. Now, luckily, I have always been deep into skin care, so mine aren't like, you know, a lot of women my age that I've seen. Okay, so I've got the stuff on. Now, I've got this one mixed in with the found with the concealer and this one on its own. And it feels the same way as the Peter Thomas Roth. Exactly. It's got that tingly, tightening, you know, that, that taunt, like it's pulling your skin taunt feeling. And you see what the Peter Thomas Roth does? This is what that Peter Thomas Roth does. It leaves a white film on your on your flesh and when you go to wipe that off the effects of it goes away but this stuff does not leave that white film however it does leave a shiny film so and again when it gets moist it it loses its you know it loses its effect so I would almost say you would have to use some you either have to mix this in with a foundation or a concealer or put it on bare skin and cover it with a powder foundation so, okay, I hope you're able to see, you know, I'm going to go ahead, oh, you can, I think you can see it already, at least on my end. Can you see the difference there? How about I go ahead and wipe it off the eye that has the foundation on it, so you can see it on just a bare eye. This video is already 12 minutes long, oh, I don't want this to be very long. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and wipe it off this eye. I should have thought that out a little bit better. <laughs> okay, it's completely gone. Now let me get my face dried down so that... But yeah, it works exactly the same as the Peter Thomas Roth. Can you see the difference? This eye doesn't have anything on it, and this one has this product on it. And of course, this side of my forehead has none of the nano blur, and this side has the nano blur on it. And you can, I mean, you can very, very definitely see that. Now, when I lift my eyebrows, like I'm inclined to hold them all the time, which is what made the creases in my forehead, then you can see my creases. But even when I do that, you still can't see them as bad as you would normally I mean it's just pretty incredible stuff and I'm pretty happy about it okay can you see my eye on this one my bag is much less apparent can you see that much much less apparent just a little bit of pulling right here or up here and and I'd almost look 30 years old again <laughs> so today I am going to experiment and I'm going to put some of this product under both of my eyes on a on a clean face no you know no nothing because it says that you want to put it under moisturizer although you know I I really hate that I don't like any kind of a barrier between my moisturizer and my serums but for the sake of experimenting and testing it out so I can give you guys a good example um, I'm gonna put it on with no moisturizer and then it says to put it on put your moisturizer on over it which We'll see how that works if it makes it go away like the Peter Thomas Roth when you splash it off. And then I'm going to put makeup on. Um, so I guess we will see. I will you, you can see in the video that the Nano Blur is an absolute yes. It, it works. It's working. Um, I will continue to purchase this. I really like this product unless, of course, my makeup doesn't go on smooth over it or, you know, it looks blotchy or something, which I haven't put on makeup on top of it yet, so I don't know yet. I'm going to experiment with it some more, but by face appearances, this is a really good product. Um, this here, I don't know. We'll have to see. I don't think that you can see in in the camera, but it leaves a very shiny look to your skin, and it makes, like, down here where the skin isn't so wrinkled, it makes it look, um cracked and dry yeah so we'll see if that can be covered with makeup if I put it in some a little bit of concealer and put it on if that will go away and change a little bit so I'm not sure but yeah these two products here the sudden change under eye firming serum 
and the Nano Blur High Definition Ready Skin in Seconds um, from Indeed brand. Uh, this one here, I would say absolutely yes. If I come across any um, cons to it in the next few days, I'll be sure and let you know. Um, this one, still on the fence, but as of right now, I would almost say no because I can't, you, you, you know, when we get, when you get to the age where you want to use a product like this, you have to have your serums and moisturizers on under your eye of, that's the most important place on your face to put them, you know? And if you can't wear that with this product, then what's the point? I don't want to damage my skin more by putting something on it that's tightening it all up and leaving off my moisturizer just to, for it to look good for a few hours. You know, I'm not willing to do that. So, still on the fence about this one, and I'll let you guys know. But um, I'd get down to your Walgreens and check this out. I believe our Walgreens had them on a display on a sample, so you could take a little bit and pat it somewhere on your face if you wanted. I'd get down there and do that if I were you, and see if it's something you think you might be interested in, because um, this is really, really good stuff. I'm really loving it. And I might just go down and buy the shelf off until before they jack the prices up. So that's all I have for you today, ladies. And um, I've got a couple more videos. I'm going to be loading the... Uh, um, the fragrance collection that you guys have been asking for that I've had to delete and redo a couple times. And then um, I've got some brush. I've got a video on some brushes and a few more items that I got for, not a haul video, but a few more items that I got for the giveaway. Look at these. Look at these cute little Hello Kitty diaries. Now, I know this is, you know, it's just, I thought they were so cute. I just had to get a whole pile of them. <laughs> and they got little holographic glitter in here that shakes around. Anyways, I got a whole bunch of stuff for, uh, more stuff for the getaways or giveaways. So, um, yeah, that's it. Go down and head down to your Walgreens and pick you up some nano blur if you're interested in, in blurring out the fine lines on your face. And I will get back to you with how this product works. Have a good day. Don't forget, rate, comment, subscribe, and I love you all. Bye.